Um, this is just a quick overview of what I'm doing of my workflow here for shooting uh, 8K with the GH4, uh, doing a 360 panoramic in 8K. It actually ends up being 9K, but uh, and then bring it back down to 8K so I can upload it to, to YouTube. Um, I have my footage here. The, pan the GH4 is in a vertical position, so that's why my image is on the side like that. Uh, I guess those people who are used to shooting videos with their iPhones are, uh, are used to looking at vid their videos like this. So that's no problem. So I have one angle there. I've synced up all four of my uh, angles with the music because he is playing guitar to the music and that needs to be uh, synced. So that's one, two, uh, there's another guitar. There's two, two guitars in the song. And of course, he's a singer songwriter and he plays every instrument like all musicians who create their own music. Um, so kind of fits along with this uh, video that he's in it a number of times. So those are all synced up. So what the next step would be to uh, actually have two other ones because we we're missing the floor and the ceiling from our image to make this a full 360 panoramic. So I ended up just shooting those. That's the ceiling. Of course, I just tilted the camera up from the position. And then comes the fun part, removing the entire uh, tripod and setup. Now it's like pretty big tripod. <laughs> and trying to get the camera in the exact same place in space is not, never easy. Uh, so there was a tripod here. I actually set up a rig attached it to the ceiling with some C-clamps and then pointed the camera down. Now, um, it would have been better to sort of take my time, but uh, you know, these things you don't have time. They have a baby, uh, <laughs> they're going on vacation, and we're shooting a music video. That's life. So, um, basically you take each one of these uh, shots here and export them as TIFF files. So export media. Um, I've actually set up a preset because the original sequence is uh, anamorphic, uh, which sort of doesn't, it brings it down from the 3860 uh, uh, format to 3328 by 2496. No big deal because we got, I shot the ceiling and the floor. They're going to fill up well over 4K, or well over uh, uh, 4,000 pixels in height, so we're getting into 9K territory. Um, so there we go, I just did a preset. Now of course, uh, Premiere only outputs uh, TIFFs as 8-bit, which I'm shooting with a GH4, as everyone knows, is 420 8-bit anyway, so who cares. Uh, cue that up, uh, and go back and do your next uh, you know, your next spot on here and continue on down, do all four layers here, which I have done. So let's, if you get out of Premiere, next step is bringing the images uh, from each one of those synced folders, which works out to about uh, 600 gigs of information in those four folders. So you're getting into a terabyte for a two minute half a terabyte for uh, a two minute music video of TIFF files already before even getting anywhere started here. Um, that's the fun working with 8K, lots of data. So I've put all f six of these images in here. Uh, you just sort of go to the crop tab, you bring the it, this crop circle as close as possible to the edges here so you get as much of the data as possible off this these images. Uh, basically align the images and PT GUI is going to stitch all these together in a perfectly good 360 panoramic images with a, a 2 by 1 uh, aspect ratio. Maybe not perfect because I can see here that since I moved the tripod, it's not aligning. Haha. -ha. So I'm going to fix that in post, as they say. <laughs> Actually, I'll get rid of this guy here in my 
batch file here. So this is just a test for one image. Now I have to go through and do all these images. But what I'm going to do here is just set up a, a batch folder. This, this is going to remember all my settings. And it's going to apply it to every single image in all four, well, five of those folders. Um, and there, actually, I don't even need this one. I can just expo export one image and bring that in the top and bottom in the end. Uh, but anyway, just for fun, uh, we'll export this one. Actually, if I do a, let's see. Control points, do do do, project settings. Now let's just create panoramic. So if we set optimum size, no loss of detail. Well, just under 9,000 pixels wide. Now this is all two, two to one aspect ratio, of course, uh, for the 360 panoramics. So I'll bring this down later. I could actually set the YouTube setting here, which is seven, eight, something or other by 3,000 something or other, but uh, I'll work with a little higher image. It's not going to hurt. Nice thing about uh, PT GUI also, I can bring the TIFF up to 16-bit if I want um, from 8-bit, but anyway, uh, why not? Just for the heck of it. And uh, create the panorama. I should optimize. Ah, who cares? For this, this is just a test anyway. So I'm gonna, I've already done a couple tests, so there's a couple more tests to go before I finalize my batch uh, stitching anyway. Yeah, it takes like 15 to 20 seconds for it to stitch it, a single image together. So you know when I have to do the number of images, I'm not sure how many are in a folder here. You can probably tell me. 2,915 uh, individual panos to do. So that's not so bad, 3,000 panos to build. So here we have the ceiling. I removed the uh, floor, which I'll add in probably at the end in Premiere to get it lined up properly around here. It was coming out way over here. This I only need this section here anyway, so um, I could actually uh, mask that off in PT GUI first. Anyway, of course, there's more things to do here. This is just a test, but basically that's it. Um, then you're going to take all these individual 2,915 images and bring an image sequence back into Premiere. That's one individual frame of these. Uh, 24 of them to make up one second of video. Uh, export it and uh, upload it to YouTube. I guess there could be some color correction in there. No problem. It's a little dark here. A few other places, but um, you know, the regular workflow after that once it's in Premiere. So thanks for watching and maybe you learn a couple things. Maybe I'll do a full, full tutorial, but uh, that's a quick overview of the workflow for 8K 360 uh, music videos, whatever you want. Thanks for watching.
Happy? Happy baby.